it's that time of year. Maybe you're a procrastinator. Maybe you have no clue what to get the outdoorsman in your life. Maybe you don't even need to buy any gifts. You just want to get something for yourself. Well, you probably deserve it. Anyways, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that our crew has used over the last year. What we really like. So uh, here we go. Hey, good morning. It's Steve and Libby from Ultimate Upland. We're about to hit the field here in Ohio and chase some late season roosters. But before we do, I thought I'd give you a quick rundown on the first light sawbuck brush pants that I've been sporting for the last three years. I have a pair in the uh, conifer color, which is a green, uh, which you can see here I'm wearing today. Uh, they have dry earth and they also have their first light fusion camo pattern available in these brush pants. Lots of other great features, including the stretchy corrugate pant legs for flexibility in the field. The DWR coating for uh, water repellency if it's snowy or wet and uh, extra long pant length if you like to keep the brush out of the top of your boots, uh, you can get a longer size than that. Ridge waistline, so go up a size if you're in between sizes to make sure you're comfortable. Grab yourself a pair, grab your fellow uplander a pair. If you've been looking for a great pair of brush pants, couldn't recommend them more highly. Grab yourself a pair of First Light Sawbuck brush pants at firstlight.com today and have a Merry Christmas. I don't understand Liz on Cubs. I really don't. It just tries to prevent the flow of caffeine down your gullet. What are we doing? Stanley Adventure stacking 16 ounce beer cup, stainless. Now, I got coffee in it. I drink most of my coffee at camp out of this cup. Why? Most efficient movement of caffeine down the pie hole. I love this cup and quite frankly, you know what makes terrible drivers? It's when you can drive around with a cup on your coffee and not be concerned that you're gonna burn your pants off. So anyways, Stanley Adventure stainless cup, 16 ounce beer pint. I use it for coffee, sometimes I use it for beer. More efficient for that as well. Anyways, gotta have one for the holiday. Get one right now, get 10, get a dozen, it's great. All right, this is the Carhartt Rain Defender Midway Soft Shell Jacket. I was looking for an upland bird hunting jacket. Um, it's a bit of an impulse buy for me, but I love it. First of all, it's a soft shell you can move in. It's got some flex to it. You know, it feels good. Uh, but the key for me is it came in large, tall. A lot of, I'm six foot five. A lot of times, you know, size large is just too short. And most outerwear companies just don't make tall sizes. So the, this jacket fits me well. Uh, it's really good in the wind and the rain. It's got the Carhartt Rain Defender technology. It's fleece lined, not too heavy, but it's warm. Um, there, there's some room in it. It's a relaxed fit. Um, so you can you can definitely layer up on cold days, and really what I like about it is this this giant chest pocket. I mean, I could put everything in there: my sunglasses, keys, granola bar, whatever. Just zip it up; everything's out of the way. I'm good to go. Um, so it's great. You know, the Carhartt uh, Rain Defender Midweight Soft Shell Jacket. I was late to the party. Merrill Moab, best-selling boot in Merrill history. I didn't see that they had come out with the Speed. These are the Merrill Moab Speed GTX. Um, they're dirty because I've used them for over a hundred some miles uh, across the beginning of the season. Really like them, still waterproof, only 13.7 ounces per shoe. Um, compared to like a two pound plus shoe, if you go all weather, you got to go lightweight. If you don't want your legs to hurt the following day, you don't want to feel like you've been hit by a Mack truck, then go lightweight, waterproof, Merrill Moab Speed GTX. That's the way to go. These are the ones. I got an extra pair of those. The two has come out. I haven't tried those yet. If you can find the ones, get them. They're going to be cheap because they're at the end of the run, but I'm going to say that the twos are going to be great too. Merrill Moab Speed GTX. Get them. If you're looking for another great stocking stuffer idea, I'd highly recommend the Gerber Downwind line. Several models available. This is the Caper model. This is a three and a half inch uh, blade model. Has a nice sturdy uh, canvas sheath, full length sheath uh, with a little belt loop to hang that on your belt as you're hunting. I also have the Drop Point model. This is a four and a half inch blade. Real nice, lightweight knives, full length construction, nice grip. 
and lightweight blade with a normal edge on that blade. So use these for caping out deer, breaking down your ducks, breaking down your birds. The Gerber downwind line, uh, full length fixed blade knives. Highly recommend these to you or your ultimate upland buddy or family member is a great stocking stuffer. Grab yourself a couple today, wherever you pick up your Gerber knives and have a Merry Christmas. Holy garlic. I'm a huge fan of Fire Smoke Society's rubs and seasonings. Holy garlic is my favorite one of those. Tonight I'm doing pork chops. I'm gonna slam some of this holy garlic on the chops. I'll turn those over in a second. Leave them rest for about an hour and then throw them on the grill. Holy garlic. But Fire and Smoke Society also has some other seasonings. Of course, if you're an upland guy, you gotta get Wing Commander. And uh, there's Chicka Licka Bam Bam. All great, but holy garlic is the holy grail of those. Go ahead and get you some holy garlic. I put it on pork, beef, chicken, wild game. I'll even put it on toast. So holy garlic, Fire and Smoke Society. Holy, holy, holy. Pups and I are getting ready to hit the fields here in Ohio and chase some late season roosters. Thought we'd give you a quick uh, stocking stuffer idea. The Catalyst Soft Shell Gloves from First Light. We picked a pair up earlier this year to wear deer and bird hunting. They're a great mid-weight glove, uh, water repellent, uh, cat, fleece lined. They come in the dry earth color as well as the First Light camo, uh, fusion camo color. Um, great mid-weight glove, comfortable, uh, easy to work your shotgun, easy to work your bow, your controller for your dog. So if you're looking for a great stocking stuffer idea for you or for your ultimate upland buddy or family member, grab a pair of the First Light Catalyst Soft Show gloves at firstlight.com. Make yourself happy, make your buddy happy, and get yourself a pair. They're a great lightweight glove. Love them. Um, use them on every hunt when we got a little bit more uh, cold temperatures to deal with, and uh, we'll see you in the field. Merry Christmas. I pretty much hate wearing headlamps around camp. And the reason I hate them is because anything outside of that light cone, you are then blinded to. Essentially, it makes you night blind to have that headlamp on around camp. So this year, instead of taking a headlamp to camp, I brought the Goal Zero Crush Light. It's just a little crushable light with a hook on it. You hang it on anything. It's got a few different settings. It's got a solar panel on top. Just gives off a nice little bit of ambient light around camp. You don't need a headlamp. And then when you walk outside of camp, you're not blinded at night. The Goal Zero Crush Light, really great stocking stuffer. Go ahead and get one. Great for those campers in your life. Goal Zero Crush Light. I literally just thought of these. I had a few left from backpacking this year, so I thought I'd pull them out and show you. Um, dehydrated meals, normally absolutely terrible. Uh, you know, you live with them because they give you the weight savings, but by and large, they don't taste good and calories could be better. But this year found Peak 2. Um, and just thought we'd take a flyer, try them out. First time I've ever tried these this year in the backcountry. I want to tell you what, Peak 2, the reason I picked them out is because their calorie counts are way higher. Uh, this per chicken pesto has 920. The beef pasta marinara has 1,040 calories, so way high, higher calorie count. And quite frankly, they taste way better than the average dehydrated meal. I tried out two, three, maybe four different variations. All great. Really like them. Great gift for your camping backcountry folks. Peak 2. Hey guys, it's Steve here again from Ultimate Upland. We just got done chasing late season roosters here in Ohio. No luck getting any birds, but we did have a lot of fun. A lot of, got a lot of exercise and got a lot of fresh air. So we're getting back in the truck here and I'm about to throw on my Hey Dudes, the Wally Sock uh, version. A buddy of mine convinced me I needed these about a year and a half ago and I can't go any, anywhere without them now. Uh, throw them on when I'm done in the field. If I got wet feet, pull my boots off, put a fresh pair of socks on and throw on my Hey Dude. Super comfortable for the drive home. Wear them around the shop, wear them around your lodge when you're done hunting for the day. Kind of like a nice comfy pair of slippers. Always uh, 
always available in my truck whenever I get done in the field for driving comfort on my way home. So grab yourself a pair, grab your buddy or your ultimate upland uh, family member a pair, make them happy, make them make their feet nice and snugly and warm and comfortable and a, <clears throat> a pair of Hey Dude Wally socks. Let's have an ultimate upland Christmas and we'll see you next year. I've had my Big Agnes C-Bar three season tent sitting out drying. Time to shove it away now. But I really enjoyed using it this fall, probably past our last camping trip. So it's time to pack it away now that it's completely dried out. Big Agnes, um, really easy setup, very durable, extremely lightweight for a three season tent. Can't say enough about it. My only complaint, if you're going to get this tent and you've got dogs, go ahead and get the three person instead of the two person variation. The two person is a definite, exactly two people and not much gear. If you got dogs, you're going to want that extra space. So Big Agnes, C-Bar, three season tent, get the three person, great tent. All right. So he just saw it. You got good dogs, you got bad dogs. I got a good dog. She's standing right here. That's Ida. I had a bad dog. That's that Rudolph dog out there. I put a red light on him. That's Night Eyes. It's the Spotlit LED. It's for dogs. If you want to keep track of your dog in the yard while it's dark out and I don't have to go out there, guess what? Night Eyes. Spotlit. It's perfect. Get yourself one. I can see Rudolph running around out there right now. He's 175 yards away. I'm not worried about him. Giddy up. Night eye spotlight. Okay. Best t-shirts I've ever owned. Carhartt Force t-shirts. I wear them for working out. I wear them hunting. I wear them camping, hiking. And I wear them every day around the house. Um, best part about them is this vented side panel and a whole separate panel for the sleeve so the seams don't cross anywhere. Really comfortable shirts. They come in long sleeve, short sleeve, different colors. Carhartt Force shirts. Gotta have them. Gotta have them. Gotta have them. They're a little bit more expensive than your average t-shirt. That's because they're so much better. Get the Carhartt Force t-shirt for the people you love this holiday season. So from our pack to yours, wishing everyone a happy and healthy new year and Merry Christmas. Like and subscribe.